Hey everybody, Dylan here from Elevated Agriculture and today we're talking about the Mars Hydro SP3000. Before we get going, I do want to disclose that this is a sponsored video. I needed a new setup for my two foot by four foot grow tent. So I reached out to Mars Hydro and I asked them if they'd like to sponsor this series in exchange for a update video every single week of the grow, as well as a full review of the tent and the light they sent me at the end of the grow series. That being said, Mars Hydro has no input on the video from anything that I say to anything that I can't say. So be assured that this is a completely unbiased first impressions video. I've only had this light for about a week. So for today, I'm just going to be giving my first impressions as well as going over the product specifications. I've already begun growing two AK-47 XL autoflower plants under this light in the new tent, so I'll be providing weekly video updates on the grow and a final review of the light and the tent at the end of the series. If you've been looking at grow lights for really any amount of time, surely you've probably heard of Mars Hydro. They've been making a name for themselves since their inception in 2008, and they're constantly innovating their products to stay ahead of the competition. This is the SP3000. Featuring top of the line Samsung LM301B diodes and a 300 watt meanwhile driver, this beastly little light bar delivers impressive corner to corner par coverage at a very affordable price. Originally released in 2020, the SP3000 is actually an upgrade to their older SP250 model. The SP3000 is meant to replace a 600 watt HPS equivalent and cover a two foot by five foot veg area or a two foot by four foot flower area while only drawing about 300 watts from the wall at max power. The light comes packaged extremely well with wood panels protecting the LED diodes from any impact damage. In the box, you'll find the light, a manual, two ratcheting rope hangers, an RJ11 cable for daisy chaining additional lights, and a badass sticker sheet. Weighing in at about 13 pounds with the removable driver and dimmer still attached, the light feels really sturdy and solid without being too heavy. Running along the entire surface of the LED board is a radiator style heatsink to keep the LED diodes cool. Now, this is what's known as a passively cooled light, which means you're not gonna find any fans anywhere on the light, in the heatsink, or on the driver. Instead, heat actually travels upwards through these aluminum fins and the board is cooled when air passes through the aluminum fins. This means you're probably gonna wanna have a fan aimed up at your light to pass air through the heat sink to keep the diodes nice and cool and make them last longer. Speaking of the diodes, the SP3000 actually has 960 of them. These include warm white, cool white, infrared, and UV to create a full spectrum of light. The UV LEDs are an exciting addition, usually only found in higher end lights and should help with resin and terpene production. Mars Hydro opted to use the much superior top bin LED diodes from Samsung and Osram in this model over the cheaper diodes found in many of the lights offered by their competitors. Another boasting feature for this light is the removable meanwhile driver as well as the dimmable controller. LEDs, whether installed in a commercial aircraft, a grow light, or let's say a laptop, require what's known as an LED driver to supply constant power even when the temperature or say the voltage changes. The benefit of having a Meanwell LED driver is the guaranteed quality of the manufacturing. Having an LED light with a poor quality driver on it means that it could malfunction or just lead to poor performance overall, and the light probably just isn't going to last as long as it should. So when you pair together the Meanwell driver, the really nice build quality, the Samsung and Osram LED diodes, it seems like you have a really quality light here, and Mars Hydro says that it should last for about 50,000 hours. This means that if you were to run this light every single day for 18 hours on and six hours off, it should last for about seven and a half years. 
Okay, since this is just a first impressions video and I haven't really had a chance to use this too much, I am going to end the video here, but I am providing weekly grow updates using this light and their new two by four foot tent. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go down, hit that little subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, please go hit that like button to let other viewers know that this video was helpful. And if you have any questions about the light or anything else, please drop a comment below and we'll connect down there. Thanks so much for watching.